Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining us here. And by us, I'm talking to the fantastic European boys called Dune Hammer Gaming. Say hello, Dune. Hello. And Taki Senpai, everyone's favorite Belgian. Everyone, uh, say hello, Taki. Hello as well. Cool. So, I am playing as Turkey, and Dune, who are you playing as? I'm playing as the German Reich. Oh, well, not for long. And Taki, and you are? I'm going to be austro hungary He's playing as Hungary He's now. Not... So the goal is in this campaign for us to reunite the Central Powers as best as we possibly can before World War II starts. But we'll see what happens. And yeah. hopefully not die as well. Yeah, that's why we have uh, Dune playing as Germany just in case, because at least he's a major power. So. Unless, you know, I play them incompetently. Then, then we're doomed. <laughs> oh, God, I mean, true. I'd like to think we're decent enough to, uh, at this game at this point. Good enough. Uh, you know, if you've got, like, 3,000-plus hours like I do, you'd think I'd be, like, Tommy Is, it, that, 3, is it at that point already? Would you like to unpause it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think cool. I, think, cool. I got it. <laughs> oh, oh, to speed. Yeah. What, what speed are we going to be able to Let's I'll actually go. Oh, all right. There we go. It instantly oh. bumped down to uh, three <laughs> speed. Oh, no. Just like that. No, 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 no. Come on, American internet. There we go. Three speed is the max we can do right now. Not pointing any fingers, but it's probably across the pond over in here. <clears throat> yeah, geez, European guys. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hosting. I, it better not be my fault somehow. Let's see. Yeah, we oh we have still have Atatürk for now. Hmm. Oh, don't worry. Spoiler alert: he he dies. Does he does he die regardless of? We all die in the end. Yeah. I don't know how old is he actually in this. He he looks somewhat young-ish, like fifty maybe. No, he must be in his sixties, surely. Really? I don't. I'm actually gonna look it up quickly. Hey man, I'm I'm trying to do that right now. Let's see, he was born when? Oh, he died in 38, our timeline. Oh, so he dies from God. 1881 is when he was yeah. born. Okay, 1881. Quick, some quick maths. Oh, oh he is. He was, he was born in Greece. <laughs> he's a Greek dude, huh? Wait, he he's a, a Greek. He's a Thessalonic he's... boy. Wait, so he's Greek, but he's, he's the father of the Turks. He was no, 57 man. when he died. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's good, yeah. Damn. He he tax switched over to the Turks. Well the more you know. There you go. Look at that, history lessons with Taki. Yeah. Never say this show isn't educational. Cause it definitely is. Sure. I hope Poland's going to be nice to me and give me back, you know, Danzig and Poznan when I ask for it. Otherwise, we're going to get obliterated. Ah, oh, Solonaika. So he was born in Thessalonica. Okay. That part yeah, over... It's It's mainland Greece. It's... Yeah, Thessalonica. I did not know that. So, yeah. I mean, technically, I guess it was part of the Ottoman Empire then, maybe? Cause... Yeah, and he was probably born from a Turkish family either way. Yeah, he was, but, like, if we remember Victoria <laughs> too, like, how small Greece starts off. And then they eventually yeah, get more and more yeah, territory. They, I, I don't think they had Thessaloniki. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they did. So, Victoria 2 multiplayer when? <laughs> oh my god, I don't uh, even know how tomorrow? to play the game. <laughs> that's alright. I, un I unironically am definitely down for that. That's one of my favorite games ever. I want to get back into it. Yeah, I went on to look at it and thought, no way am I going to be able to learn this. <laughs> <laughs> if I can learn Victoria 2, then I can learn CK3. <laughs> yeah. I mean, CK3 is easy. You just have sex with your enemies' wives. Yeah. Dune, Dune knows good that at too that, well. That is the best tactic. It's just a shame I couldn't get mockers. Mm -mm. Not getting this woman. Keep, yeah, have have to to keep having sex with everyone. You can technically even seduce the Pope. <laughs> so, I just prefer to kidnap him and torture him. Uh, can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. I mean, it, it's, it's been... It's been four minutes. Yeah, yeah. Susan don't, okay, cool. doesn't care at this point. Susan don't care. Susan's, Susan's cool with it. Susan is cool with uh, murdering <laughs> the Pope as long She's as She's okay with two states and jihad. <laughs> Convert the Pope into Sunni. Or just change it to a different like religion, like Astra or something like that. <laughs> Give him also a different culture. Make him, I don't know. Swedish. Uh, <laughs> Swedish. Make him a Viking. Sunni Viking. Oh, God. 
We're getting weird. That's the blessed timeline. Sunni I Viking calls Jihad. Jihad. <laughs> Jihad and raids the coast of the Mediterranean. Oh God. And fucks everyone's wife as well. <laughs> Can you imagine that, that was actually a requirement? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't do anything about this, my dude. I have to fuck it's, your wife. It's, it's in law. the law. It's written in the law. Like, I'm, I'm gonna get written up at my job if I don't do this. <laughs> my manager's been busting my balls. Wait, wait, hold, wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on. You know, I look at Yugoslavia and I question, why don't they just eat up Albania? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, Albania is uh, guaranteed by Turkey, uh, by uh, Italy right now. So I mean, you can give the southern, northern Epirus of Greece and just have Yugoslavia of all of Albania. It would make it look nicer. Yeah. I mean, Yugoslavia yeah, is a more. hodgepodge of different e cultures. Why not just add one more in? Yeah, just... what, could, what could possibly go wrong? It's not like they ended up yeah. exploding and uh, doing some uh, unliving towards their neighbors. Competing no longer alive. Thank you very much. But honestly, I, I hate I hate the borders of Yugoslavia. I don't like how they look. I, I think that someone said that this is still not quite correct. Oh. What's, I don't know, but I don't different? know that much about Yugoslavia, but... Yeah, I don't know much about it. I'm an, yeah, I'm an American. All we know is oil and bombs. But... <laughs> <laughs> and places that have oil and bombs. That's why I'm going for Iraq. <laughs> well, actually, see it. See if you um, release Transylvania as um, Yugoslavia. You, when you annex them, you get claims on the rest of Transylvania from hmm. Romania. You oh, because like, oh. you yeah. technically oh. use your puppet's core territory to get it. Yes, yeah. that's pretty cool. Pretty nice. All right, let me see. Yeah. So we do the Montreux Convention. I want to say no. So if I go to war with the Soviets early on, is this not historical or not? Oh, um, it's, it's historical, but whatever, what I did was, I was like, no, I will remilitarize, suck my dick, and then they backed off eventually. Hmm. <laughs> they back off. Well, I've seen experience. them actually not back off in Turkey, still to demilitarize the straits before, but... Uh oh That's what it was like for me in my Greece playthrough. Turkey just did not remilitarize, so I literally walked to Istanbul. <laughs> yeah, yes. No. Uh, I will, it depends. Did, did um, the UK support you? They did it with me. So, no, no, I was playing as Bulgaria, Bulgaria, I think, and then they were like... The, U, the UK came in and helped me, but France pussied out the last second, like, oh no! <laughs> you know, typical French kind of going about oh, doing yeah, things. Nice. Absolute pushovers. Surrendering before they've even joined the war. Cringe, bro. That was. So, oh, and it's time for civil war! Yay! I'm just going to pause one second. So oh, yeah, everything it looks is uh... like you got to start going down a democracy route to get to the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, that's that was my experience. Fully integrate. Just keep going left. Pivot. And eventually pivot get to the Ottomans, I think. Nice. Return of the <laughs> Sultan. Oh, is this the way to get the the, the mama? The yeah, 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 the, the, the sexy lady. Ooh. I was Ooh. wondering how you got her. I was like, which row is she? But... Uh, what you do have to do is, um, once you um, form the Ottoman Empire, there's going to be a decision to pass where you change the law of succession. Oh. In order to get her, you'll have to do that uh, as quickly as possible, so that if your ruler dies, you actually get that uh, sexy she mama. Up. The sexy mama. <laughs> I hope she lives forever, at least until the game ends. The milk of the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, is that haram? <laughs> uh, what is the haram in the sheets? Halal in the, the streets? Something like that? I don't know uh, which one's which. See. Oh, here's the level. Soviet Union opposes our remilitarization of the straits. No settlements, oh, no compromise. We shall do this right. Yeah. And usually the UK backs you. The British abandoned us. Oh god, what the heck? <laughs> uh, you still have a chance to remilitarize, but it's less likely. We must Okay, I gotta shift these guys around then. Uh, okay, they back down. Woo! Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, you get uh, a bunch of PP as well. Ooh, that that oh, worried me there one. a little bit. Good old PP. 
Give me your pee pee. Oh jeez, what are you, my uncle? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what they do in Belgium, but sure. <laughs> Well, we are a Catholic country. <laughs> Let's see, research. I love research. Yes. Onwards, man. Onwards. Get that in circle, and boy. Man, I gotta get to the, get become the Ottoman Empire. Well, actually, even if we become the Ottoman Empire, we're not even... We're just not aligned. So, like... Hey, hey you're not gonna be fascist. Well, neither are we. Uh, we're all gonna be not aligned. I wanna send yeah, volunteers, though. How do I send volunteers? I'm not allowed to. I, I don't think you can. Neither can I, I think. Why? Come on, we're so close. See, that's why I'm, you know, as much as I like the thought of forming the Ottoman Empire, a lot of the th cool stuff that you can do is pretty late game. Oh, I could have my own faction, too. Wait, can you do it right now? No, I mean I later I on. It would expand the Sata yeah. Pact. So I can't technically join the Central Powers. Well, I guess technically I could, but well, I'd have to leave. Later on... Later on, you can, right? Wait one second. I think it's rejoin the central power. So, yeah, you can uh, create but, central power. But powers later then. on, it says create faction, Sadabat, Concordat. <laughs> Expand the Sadabat. Sadabat Pact. Yeah, 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 but that, that's up up uh, on, on the north side of the focus tree, right? No, where that's below can, uh... it. That's below it. Wait, where? which one? What's it called? Expand the Sadabat <laughs> Pact. And... It's below. It's two below the rejoin the central powers one. Oh yeah, man! What the fuck? You traitor! Paradox! Paradox! <laughs> what are you guys thinking? You absolute monster! Yeah, what the <laughs> hell, man? You're gonna abandon us like 140 days after you join us? <laughs> yes. Uh, guys, what the heck? Get backstabbed, what the hell? Oh god. I better build a lot of land forts then. Yeah, come on, that's a, <laughs> that's, a, that's an Italy kind of move right there. Thanks for having me join, see ya! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, I need 4% I need more war support. Uh, wow, this is going very successful over here. Yeah, you're, you're pretty much almost done. <laughs> yeah. Wow, but I agree and... being Bavaria right now. Oof. Ugh. Wait, you didn't want to take a Poland first, annex Poland, and then have the civil war? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I'm going to try and befriend Poland. Oh. Are you going to, like, exchange things, like... Yeah, if, if I get the yeah. guarantee, like, if they give me the land for the guarantee, then they'll be able to join Basically, the what he exchanges is, give me land and I won't punch you. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Man, but I like putting things in camps. <laughs> I've been playing too much TNO, man. I love TNO. TNO is so much fun. Oh, I, oh, I so much reading, though. I know, it's, it's great. It's so narrative-driven, but that to me, that's just kind of okay. I don't have to focus on like doing a whole, whole mm -hmm. bunch of military stuff. And honestly, the writing is so amazing. Oh, I've, I've, it's, it's, it's better than ha most of the books that I've read so far. It, it, it honestly made me want to get back into books, reading, and even writing. Oh, it's so that's good. how good it was. That is one thing I don't do much of, reading. I don't read either. Oof. Well, I technically I'm forced to read for my degree, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on uh, work hours, though. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, TNO... Oh, but I, I, have, you, oh. have you gotten to the um, thermonuclear events? Oh, Those yeah. Oh, no. I played as the United States, and yeah. there's several events that I had to like, reload my saves just so that mm -hmm. I don't get killed when a shrimp boat does stuff. <laughs> good old, that good old shrimp boat. <laughs> Uh, but man, like the, the end the of the RFK one. tree. Oh, that last focus. It, it kind of hits you. It kind of hits Wait, you. Which one, which one is that then? Uh, Robert F. Kennedy. Robert. Or is it Francis? Oh, I, I have not yet played as a as the US. He, 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 over time, if you don't make him appear to be more conservative, people will end up assassinating him. So you always have to toe a very kind of a fine line, even though it never happened to me. Like mm -hmm. you got to keep doing more conservative things as you're trying to put a shit for civil rights and health care and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. But the final focus is about him and, and JFK, so I'm like, oh god, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> is, is JFK gonna be uh, cruising on the outside with, a, with his uh, roof down? Oh, something? he was in Dallas. Oh, yeah. He was in Dallas. He was only president for three <laughs> weeks. God, he looks really good, though. Like, I put him for a thumbnail. He looks really good. Just saying. 
<laughs> no homo. But, no homo, yeah. Uh, he had his socks on, but, you know. But, man, I wish you could keep JFK alive. Is there no way? I don't think so, no. no Some things are just change. destined to happen. <laughs> don't cry because it happens. Was it don't cry because it's over? Smile because it happens. Yeah. <laughs> that's a picture of JFK. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, but that that does fit pretty darn well with uh, the end of RFK's tree. Like, if you go with f full two terms and try to get like the National Healthcare Past Act mm -hmm. after passed, it just, it just, it's touching. And then I did, and I, I split my campaign in two. So like, you start off with one campaign, and then during the '68 elections, I did one with RFK, the second elect term, and then you go with a guy named John Glenn, and he's Mr. Spaceman. Mr. Spaceman. Mr. Spaceman. His his goal is to get to Mars. So. <laughs> oh, but it, well, spoilers! I don't, I'm not. Uh, by the time this video comes out, the camp, campaign will already be done. But yeah, he does make. You can make it to Mars. You can. No way. Yeah, that's that's amazing. In eight years, yeah, you can rebuild all of NASA. Spend send so many ships out, spaceships, and eventually get to Mars. Eventually, so you go into debt. Like actually, in my game, you take on so much debt. I wouldn't say probably because of the NASA, because NASA doesn't cost honestly that much compared to like. Healthcare and, and subsidies and employment stuff, but yeah, like, they just cut the budget in real life, right? Massively. But, like if you look at look good. at the GDP, like especially nowadays, we don't spend that much on NASA at all compared to everything else. But like in the game, I had so much debt, the counter was set to zero, and I started with no more oh, debt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! And that's what happened with me in my China campaign. I accidentally just defaulted everything, <laughs> and then I still managed to get into massive debt right after. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, they explain that the uh, GDP and debt actually does have an impact, but I f I, it's probably not yet finished. No, it's not. At least for you know. Have have any of you played as Ordenstadt Burgund yet? No, I'm I'm, I'm oh, going to be saving I'm, that for like last. Yeah. It's it's rough. Oh God. It's so. Of course, it's got good old, you know, everyone's favorite guy. Yeah, but. It, Actually, reading through the events and what he actually does constantly just so depressing. Sounds like my type of campaign. <laughs> yeah, that sounds perfect. Because I do so have my... another campaign planned pretty much right now. Like, as soon as Tino gets updated, I've got another really fun campaign in Russia to do. Which one? Well, I guess. Actually, I don't know when this video is going to go up, so I'm going to play as Komi, uh, Taboritsky. Wait, is, is Comey the Clock Boys, or which one is that? Uh, I, I don't know. If he's, is he a Clock Boy? By the time like I do the campaign, I'll know, but like mm -hmm. apparently his path is one of the worst paths possible. I have no idea, because oh, I, yeah, I haven't played it yet. worst path. Uh, I think the thermonuclear path, right? That's actually what's supposed to happen in the actual timeline from what I read in, in the lore. Nice. Like, uh, if, if, you know, if it's not gamified, if it yeah. follows the lore that they've set out, at some point, Germany and uh, Comey Russia end up at war with each other and just nuke everything to smithereens. Nice, oh. I can't wait. Uh, which, uh, I don't know if you've ever played them as well, but Cheetah is also really fun and kind of wholesome. Hmm. Is Cheetah, is that, where, is that in Siberia? Yeah, that's the reluctant Tsar. Hmm, okay. It's, it's like the, the pushover. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was a lot of fun. You didn't play as wholesome Soblin yet? And Baratia? What? Which one's that? Is he, that he's, uh, it starts at war with Irkutsk, and I think it's pretty close to Cheetah, actually. Like, right, right above Mongolia. Right, right, right. The Mongolians. It's, uh, I it's, think, oh, there's Cheetah, but like right above like Mongolia, there's Irkutsk. Oh, it, and it's, it starts oh, at yeah, war with yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they are they actually wholesome, or is that ironic? TNO wholesome, as in uh, they're gonna nuke everything. I think I think it, it's it's generally supposed to be like pretty fairly wholesome. Oh, so, I mean, nice. it's still Marxist-Leninist, but, you know, it's supposed to be as wholesome as you can possibly get going down that route. Yeah. Jo Goring's been my favorite playthrough on it. Goring. Did you play with the really? SM yeah. mod that fixes him? No, I just let the world burn at the end. <laughs> Very wholesome indeed. Just uh, defeat Japan and then the world just blew up. I was like, ah, that's, that's fine. That's a good place to leave it. I was recommend to, safe yeah, I was recommended to play as Japan and then start a nuclear war with America, because there's no <laughs> war against China. It's not in the game yet, so. Yeah, yeah. there there is a war in China though, as uh, oh, you yeah, know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's incredibly difficult. I almost did it, but 
It's just too much. Asia just seems like pretty boring right now. China was really. China, China has a really lot of content. Yeah, yeah. I like. You actually get to experience the life of uh, the average citizen oh God. and how your decisions actually affect them. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. But uh, combat wise, there's not a lot of things to do in there. Have any of you played this, the Siberian Black Army yet? Not yet. No. no. There's too many things in Russia. <laughs> oh, you know what I want to play with? Uh, have you, any of you played as um, Father um, Men? No, I want to play them too. He, he's That's basically so like amazing. a religious zealot in Siberia. It's amazing. Oh, so oh, cool. God. oh, is that the one that makes the Divine Mandate? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the oh, one. Oh, they get some hella nice national spirits as well. Oh, yeah. And they just make, you know, religious zealots spawn in the people that they fight. Just nice. Oh. Like, so, no. so, like, I'm loving playing the Thousand Week Rank as well, though. Yeah, well, that's more like um, combat focused. It's like a nice mix between Lauren. base games, slash Kaiserreich, and uh, TNO. There's a yeah. lot of lore, but it's not. As in really depth. On that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because whenever I play t the Thousand Week Reich, it always seems kind of boring. I mean, yeah, you have the German Civil War, and then maybe America gets yeah. involved, but after that... That's the thing. The, I don't think you read the the events, right? In oh, I read, all. I, I, I read everything. No, no not, not in TNO, <laughs> in, the, in the Thousand Week Reich. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not really compelled to read them, but oh, in okay. TNO, I'm not compelled to read them. Oh, yeah, It's yeah, yeah. a lot more interesting. But yeah, but just the Thousand Week Reich, just, it just doesn't feel like there's a, like enough conflict in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, it, 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 <laughs> well, saying that, 90% of my playthroughs on it has just been all the different Germanys. <laughs> <laughs> Are they that different? I, I think I've done two. And I, I, I don't yeah. feel like there's much difference between them. I, well, I'm like, played, like, like I in TNL, those... where there's massive differences. I think Goebbels was the best one, going down the Total War. That yeah, was fun. he's Mr. Total War. Goring's probably my least favorite on, on them. Mainly because I couldn't start a war with America after they told me to bugger off with my, you know, little <laughs> friendship offer. Yeah, I mean, they, they also went through the path of you, you're not allowed to fabricate on anyone. I hate mm. that. Just let me invade, like, the tiny little nations that shouldn't exist anymore. Let me just kill yeah, them. Yeah, that, that's what I do. I just uh, open uh, the console command, press on oh. uh, allow Diplo, and just declare war on everyone. Oh, are you going to just annex this country? Just so I won't even fight them? Just bend them? Yeah. Um, I guess it kind of makes like sense it? since it's after World War II and people probably don't go on to go to war with nukes, but still. <laughs> but still. <sighs> yeah, I, I was looking it up. The, the U.S. federal government is spending, what was it, $25 billion for NASA for next year. That's, That's it. not that much. Yeah, it's not much. It's nothing compared to like, everything to else. Right, my my sorry guys, just my, my game just broke there. One of my divisions just went like flying forward like three tiles. Ooh. Oh, I see that, yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog looking at <laughs> Wait. Wait, near the Gleitzwitz? Or, uh, Rostock? That division that is about to go into Rostock just flew literally all the way up there. Nice. <laughs> Need for speed. Wehrmacht edition. Edition. Uh, oh, what, yeah. What are we doing? Can we just finish the Civil War, please? Nah. Oh, they got Berlin back. Oh, we got cut off and... Oh. I guess not. You, you opened up the other one. What is happening? Pure, pure this, is why, chaos. this is why I want to send volunteers. I want to get in the action. Same. With this, no, it's actually it's been a pretty successful civil war. It's so hard to like just sit there and not do war. Like I want war. Like is this? Uh, yeah, it's like I just want to kill. I want to invade. Why won't Paradox let me enslave people? That's so cringe. <laughs> no, but well, they, you know, just... but with the new ideas like Bulgaria, you can with well, the Bulgarization of other people. Or, oh, you can make cores. So right? yeah, you make cores. You make them more Bulgarian. You're not killing. You're not getting rid of them. <laughs> Bulgarian. So I think maybe there's hope for the future. Yeah, I, I do like the thought of uh, coring, or maybe in the short term you can't fully core, it, but actually right, yeah. integration process mm -hmm. that'd be really cool. It's just population transfers. That's what we're gonna say. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah, there he goes. We teach him the Bulgarian alphabet. We teach him how to sing a, a Bulgarian song. Oh. Of course, oh, this time I'll do? teach them all sorts of Turkish songs, but eh, that's just me. Do you know what? I'm going to imprison the Nazis. You know, if I do that badly against the Soviets, I might just want them to pop up. <laughs> Nazis weren't such bad people, according to Doom. We'll just put them in jail. 
Yeah, we yeah. put them in jail. We won't hang them. We'll just jail them for life. I mean, this is in the timeline where they still haven't made big boy camps, right? Big boy so, camps. Yeah, this is when they're. I was going to say a little, a little more wholesome right now, so they are. Oh. Yeah, wholesome Nazis, you know. We heard it here first. Oh God! Are we talk about well, reform oh. spear. <laughs> I've only played Germany yeah. once. I'm waiting for like the update to come so I can play like Borman or something. Yeah. Do Do you know when the update comes? I have no like, idea. But I've been I've been I've been waiting, man. Probably in like the next three years. Oh, uh, but like I don't know. TNO is like my favorite mod by far. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It used to be Kaiserreich, but this is way way better. Uh, if any of the Kaiserreich devs are watching, he doesn't mean that too much. He just really <laughs> yeah, enjoys it currently. I love Kaiserreich, but come on. Have you forced people to take abortions as Ordenstadt Burgund? I don't think so. <laughs> oh wow, I guess to that point, No, I didn't Jesus. know that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just at the start of the campaign, by the way, just so you know. And I bet that's not even the worst thing that goes on. That's well, I can, I can definitely see that, so. That's like one of those things that the Germans were quote-unquote planning, but never really fully implemented, as far as I know. They were just but, very uh, progressive uh, people. Uh, <laughs> social Darwinists. Very progressive. <laughs> Very progressive. It's just a different type of progressivism, that's all. Yeah. Progress in name of the country and not in the name of the people. In the name of the people. You can't go wrong with that. Nothing ever bad happens when you say the name of the people. <laughs> <laughs> in the name of the people, I will murder your son. Are you having a boy or an abortion? Oh, God. <laughs> what is this, China? <sighs> See if the Netherlands turns around and tells me that I can't have Kaiser Wilhelm back. We're going to have a very early Second World War. <laughs> I mean, can't even send volunteers. The only way they will do that is if you actually did not have any troops. Yeah, did you delete your army? No, I've not deleted my army. I still have my 14 divisions. You don't need them. So I already have a bigger army than them, but you know. Just delete. It's not the size that matters, it's how you use them. Yeah, because no one wants Wilhelm III. He's just not the same. We yeah, he doesn't even have, like, daddy. two full arms. He has, like, one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> On a good day, it's 1.75, but whatever. <laughs> it depends <laughs> if it's cold outside or not. <laughs> it shrivels up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, man. Oh, I'm going to do, do my industrial projects. Ooh, that's actually a lot better than before. Oh, I'm, I'm going to... Um... Which ones are those? Are those the, the investments that you ask for, or uh, you spend like the, fifty political power to get a civilian factory? You lose oh, political yeah, power yeah. during this entire time, but I'm trying to get to partial mobilization like right now. So you need like twenty five percent. Boom. More support, I guess, right? I have thirty two. I already did. You had the six laws, so I just did the focus or the decision that gives you oh, more, right, net, right. more support. So bingo. I bingo. actually never. And are they actually worth it? Because I. I I looked at them and I was like, not really, except for the manpower one. Uh, really the manpower one is okay. The republicanism is actually much better to do compared to improve worker conditions. Because I, like, in the video, like, I... <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> I use a calculator, actually. Wow, I use a calculator. But found out that <laughs> you get more, I believe, stability if you do republicanism instead of improve worker conditions, so... Oh, nice. So, because 180 days is almost like 25, roughly 25 weeks. So, 0. 0.5 is like 12.5%. Uh, well, technically you do get more from improved working conditions, but you can, I don't know, maybe not then. You do get more support for Unaligned if you're going down that route with Republicanism. So. Yeah, if you, if you need to support, you might as well go for that one instead. But that way you don't also lose like consumer goods. You mm -hmm. don't lose yeah. factory output if you really, really need it, so... And right now you do need a lot of uh, guns, considering you, ha you have a bunch of Kurdish land that isn't yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah. And it's just cheaper for republicanism, and you can do it every so often, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, Turkey doesn't start with Kurds and Kurdistan. Nope. You actually oh. have to pacify it, but it's not worth it right now. <laughs> until you get like lower into the focus tree where you can actually reconcile them. Oh. Well, can we just put them in camps? <laughs> what are you, modern day Turkey? Hey man, oh. modern problems require modern solutions. <laughs> or 1930s <laughs> solutions, or 1940s solutions. It's a, tr a tried and tested method. If it works for That's China, it can work for us. <laughs> what would China do? What would my boy Xi Jinping do? <laughs> what would my boy Winnie the Pooh do? <laughs> Not sponsored by China, but that's just me. 
Yeah, shame. I would love. I would have loved to be sponsored by China. God. What would they send you even? I don't say bombs, but yeah, poison. They would send you tanks to put into your own personal squares. <laughs> if you have a student revolt, use these tanks. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they send you some propaganda posters. <laughs> Like a oh, full opium. picture of uh, when you pull opium. buff out. So how's Germany doing? Uh, doing? We're just chilling, you know. Good vibes over here. <laughs> what if he goes democratic? Some <laughs> oh yes, yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just. Make I've done that before. It's so boring. Yeah. So like, why? Because if you do a fascist, a communist, and a non-aligned route, you gotta go at least throw one demo democracy in there. Yeah, but that's that's a shame of Hoy Ford. Democratic is always so boring. Oh, it's yeah. crap. It's like because you can't justify anyone, even though they're like fascist or something. I just want to mm -hmm. kill them. Just let me take them down. So unfair. I'm gonna go to cause world tension first. Oh. Oh crap. Oh, by the way, uh, it seems that we are running out of time. Oh no, we're running out of time. Don't say it so. And I, uh, so you already paused it. Cool. So I will yeah. conclude this for everyone. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the very first episode of us trying to reform the central powers, consider maybe leaving a like on all three channels. Maybe subscribe to all three channels if you haven't already. And, you know, have a good time with whatever you're doing. But regardless, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.